Hey guys, this is Faye from Faye's World, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer larger files to China. So the way you want to do that is through an app called Weiyun, and you get 10 gigabytes for free. In this video, I'll show you how to download it, what to search for, and how to navigate it within. So this is first part of a two-part video. In this video, I want to quickly share with you how to transfer that file and how to find the file on your computer, on your mobile phone, and just send it along using an app such as WeChat. Now, there is a prereq to whether you can use this or not, which is you need an account with either WeChat or QQ. These are Chinese accounts. Now, I'm going to list how to sign up for these two apps in the description below. I did not create those videos, Plenty of people have done that work already. When you have done that, come back to this video. Otherwise, let's just get started. Tencent Drive and Weiyun are the same company. It just so happens that Tencent is the English name, whereas Weiyun is the Chinese name. I know it's a bit confusing, but once you come into the iOS app, instead of searching for Tencent, you actually have to search for Weiyun. And this update in iOS, or I don't know who did this by the developer, potentially introduced a lot of confusions. So you search for Weiyun, you hit enter, and what you see is on the first of the list, besides the ad, um, you will see this Chinese characters next to this blue icon. That's exactly what you're looking for. And the category says productivity. And so when I open it, just so you guys see, this is exactly Tencent. Okay, now you know it's downloaded and I still wanna see you and confirm for you exactly what it looks like on your mobile phone because once it's downloaded, the icon is the English icon, as you can see, is Tencent Drive. And that's what you can search for. And now what you need to do is prior to this, and in order to use Tencent correctly, now you have two options. One option is to use Tencent Drive as if you're using any of the similar apps in the US, such as uh, Dropbox or Google Drive. So let me show you around. Once you're inside and you wanna, for example, I'm going to go to my Zumba folder and um, there is a video uh, sitting there about nine minutes long, it's pretty large. And what you can do is tab the three dots to the right hand side of the video and here you have all the options and good news is all of that is in English and what you can do is share to. Once you click on share to you have options um, with WeChat as you know the majority of the Chinese population are super active on WeChat. You also have moments and this moment here by the way is also part of WeChat. It's kind of their way of the new stream. And you also have option to say copy link, mail, you can have a QR code and you can send a message. And once you pop over a message, I know for a fact that, you know, I'm on T-Mobile and I used to be on AT&T. When you're traveling abroad or when you're in the US sending text messages to China, that's entirely possible. And so is the case when you're, you know, living and working in China. So this is certainly an option as you can see, but, um, I'm going to go back to share. What you can do is also use mail. And when you press mail, the mail icon, it's going to trigger whatever the native mail app is on your mobile phone. And in my case, that is a Google, uh, that is Gmail. And as you know, a lot of people in China don't have access to Google or Gmail. So what you need to make sure is to send to an address that is a Chinese email address and people can receive. Now, there are a lot of Chinese people, especially when they work in the office, they will have email addresses that you have seen, something like sohu.com, 163.com. Um, you know, it's one of those things where basically, you know, the name of their company.com. So that should be fine. Now, what I want to do next is actually show you uh, you know, what most people are using, which is WeChat as an app to send files directly. Now, I'm not going to record and spend time to walk you through all like sort of step by step on how to um, set up WeChat. What I will show you, however, is what WeChat looks like in case you are new to this. Many of you guys probably are not. So to download WeChat as an app in your iOS or Android, simply search for WeChat, W-E-C-H-A-T. Once you find that, now it says 
green icon with the little two dialogue bubbles and it says calls chat and more. Now I have already installed WeChat for years and years. If you're doing this for the first time and if you're doing this post you know um, January 2019 obviously by the time you watch the video it certainly is the case if you're new to WeChat. Now I'm going to mentally prepare you and let you know that the sign up process is a lot more complex than what it used to be meaning in 2018 and before, all you had to do then was to enter your phone number, answer a few questions, confirm that you're real and you're done, you're in, you can start adding friends. Now, what I'm going to do is in the description below and also on the screen, I'm going to give you a, a link um, and it's better to look at the description because these links are super long. Look in the description, immediately you will see instructions step-by-step step how to sign up for WeChat in 2019. And what you will need to do after you download this app is you need to go through security verification. You also need to have a friend to verify within WeChat that you're real, but all the instructions are there. You'll be able to find a way around it, especially if you're doing business in or with China or you have friends in China. I mean, this will be a no brainer. Um, so once you get past that, now let me go ahead and show you how to send files in WeChat. So again, I'm gonna go back to my Tencent Drive once I'm in there and let's say this file right here is way larger than what WeChat permits you to send because WeChat has a file limitation and also you know how many minutes of a video you can send as well in addition to just the file size. Now if we're just talking about file size alone it's 25 megabytes or less which can be very frustrating. You know any videos any files with images or videos way over that. So what you want to do is again go back to the three dots and here you can say share to and you're going to click on WeChat to the left hand corner and here within WeChat you're going to choose the person you want to send this to. You can even leave a message for them and you can click on send. And that's it. And here from here you can you have the option to stay in WeChat or you can go back to Tencent Drive. So um, once this is sent what you can do is Click on the video so you can see what you send exactly, right? Um, now it's just asking me to start using. Um, so I'm going to say, okay, let me start using the app and you're logged in. And one thing to keep in mind is a lot of these Chinese apps just seem really slow just because the nature of, uh, you know, how servers and all those things are set up and just takes time. Um, so now you're in the video and it's loading up in Tencent Drive. So you kind of get the idea. It's really convenient because right here in WeChat, your friend is able to see, you know, the name of the file. You can see a preview of it. And um, from here, you know, if you want to delete it, you can also do so as well. So that's my mom, by the way, in case you're wondering. And that's it. I hope you find this video helpful. I know it's um, can be a little bit frustrating. So by the way, if you're downloading Tencent for the first time and you really want me to give you a step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that, I have good news um, as well because I have a blog article that shows you screen by screen, step by step, how to sign up for Tencent Drive from scratch. The good news is there's no crazy security questions. It should go through fairly quickly and um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell so we stay connected. If you have any questions for this video, drop me a comment below. Thanks so much.